now that we understand the schedules we are ready for the calculations and let us begin by calculating the sales revenue and let us begin by year 2023 so i will navigate to my schedules first and here i have my sales revenue and in that revenue all i need to do is to go back and multiply the assumptions which are sales volume in year one multiply by selling price so here we get our sales revenue but the problem is anyone who is looking at this page looking at this value he is not understanding anything all he is understanding is there are two values on the assumptions page which have which have been multiplied here and now he has to go to the assumptions page to check what those values are this is quite less user friendly and this is not how we build financial model so here i would repeat one of the fundamental rules that we have discussed that repeat the information where it is helpful so rather than calculating the sales revenue like this straight away rather i will first show my selling price that is i will just link that to my assumptions page now and that is 66 and then i will link that to my sales volume as well and the sales volume is let me link that and now if i multiply these two let me change this number format this should not be you know in percentage and there should not be any decimal and now if we multiply these two values anyone who would be looking at this value here would be getting that this in this calculation has been done on the basis of these two and what these are price and volume and how much this was this much and this much so this calculation is much more user friendly than the previous one so i'm going to delete this one altogether this is not helpful now as we have discussed before I should be able to copy this formula and paste it to all the cells remaining cells to get the sales revenue of these values and for that I should have my selling price for the year here and the sales volume for the year here and to calculate the selling price all I need to do is pick the previous value and multiply that with the rate of inflation and that rate of inflation is lying on the assumptions page so rather than linking back to the assumptions page i will you know again it's better to bring the inflation rate here all together and the inflation would be you know uh, if i link that inflation is going to be six percent and this rate of inflation is going to be same for all the remaining years but it does not mean you will simply copy and paste that it does not mean that because this is because this is relative reference and when we do relative reference our formula gets changed so this is we are linking to cell c9 but then this automatically become cell d9 it will become cell e9 so we should first make it absolute by pressing the f4 key here and now we can link that to all the cells now you can see that we have inflation rate for all of different cells here so to calculate the selling price now all we got to do is to take the previous value and then multiply that with one plus this percentage number so i would say 100 percent plus 100 percent plus this value of six percent and press enter and the new price is 70 and now you can also simply copy and paste this to all the cells all the remaining cells so you you have calculated the selling price for all the years the answers are right everything is okay but there is one problem and that problem is you are using a different formula in these columns than this one so this column has a different formula and the remaining ones have a different formula now how to fix that now this is going to be a little tricky and this might annoy you for two three minutes but please bear with me and try to learn that because this is going to be very helpful in building a dynamic excel sheet and then you know i mean the responsive excel sheet responsive to changes in assumptions but if you miss these parts do not uh, please stay confident and keep moving forward you will start to grab that step by step but this step is going to be a little extra difficult so don't worry about this so i would say rather than jumping to the selling price straight away 
I would rather make it selling price in year one and now this is $66 and it should be absolute reference before I copy paste and now you can see we have selling price in year one for all the different columns now for the next step I am going to mention the year numbers here so I'm going to say my 2023 is going to be my first year of business my second year of business third and four and five so these are going to be my year numbers and I am writing them because I need to calculate the growth on the basis of this. By the way, you must have noticed that I have hard coded the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I should not be doing that. I will come back and fix it. I will make it dynamic in a minute. But first, let us focus on the selling price calculation. And now to calculate the sales price in each year, what I need to do is I need to say $66 multiply by 100% plus this growth rate percentage and close the bracket. Now if I press enter, what will happen is that it will increase my selling price for 2023 by 6%. If the 66 was the price at a point and it was supposed to increase in the year one with inflation, it was okay. But we were very clearly mentioned, we were very clearly informed in the assumptions that this is the price in year one like this price will be used in year one it is not going to be further inflated so i am not supposed to inflate the 66 dollars in the year one so what i will do is i will say power and then i will open another bracket and i will say this value year number i mean power in six percent should be done so many times but then i will also do minus one so let me repeat it for you so if i just apply power and say apply this value you know it will it will mean nothing it will be the, the working will be remain the the same as previous which was you know 100 plus 6 percent power one only means the same thing again but i don't want to apply power one i want to say power one minus one please exclude minus uh, exclude one from that because I do not need to apply the growth in this particular year and I press enter and now you can see that my price here is same that is 66 mean to say we haven't applied any growth for this particular year but now if I copy and take it to the remaining cells now you can see the magic that for each year the price has been increased so for example if I discuss the year 5 with you press F2 to open the formula you can see what we are doing we are saying please take the price of 66 then 100% plus 6% growth and how many times 5 minus 1 so inflation is starting at this point in year 2 so 1 2 3 4 4 times the inflation should be applied before we reach at 2025 so this minus 1 has helped us achieving that so I hope this thing is making sense to you now and we have properly calculated our selling price using the same formula for all the cells now this thing has been sorted I can say this is my calculation for selling price so let me give it a proper title and sales price calculation and one thing that I still need to fix is this year number so year number should be right we have a hard coded numbers one two three four five rather we should be you know uh, making it dynamic according to them so that you know it is adjusted automatically if anything changes so I would say if this cell 2023 equals I'm sorry I start with if this cell my cell here equals the first year of business that is 2023 then give me the answer of one because that is going to be my year one else what you need to do else is that let me go back to schedule I would say open the formula again else take the previous value previous value and then plus one into that and press enter and now if I copy and paste this to all the cells now you can see we still have the same formula same values again so if i open this one for you for example you can see that first we are checking the assumption if 2027 is my first year the answer was no it was not the first year the first year was 2023 
so the thing that applied here was the the other option that applied here was pick up the previous value and then add one to that and this will give you the right year number now you can see that our year numbers are also dynamic based on the uh, according to whatever the year is so now our selling price calculation is completely you know linked with everything so there is nothing hard coded by the way if you you may be thinking that we have done this minus one as hard code here so this is basically not hard code this is you can say a kind of a fixed value uh, this should not be called hard coding so now we are done with the selling price but we are still not ready for the calculation of sales volume let us do that and for this i will need to create a separate working so i will say sales volume and this working is going to be quite the same as per the previous one so first of all let us say sales volume in year one and this is going to be linked with the assumptions page and this is going to be this one and now i have to i should be locking this cell and also make it comma separated and copy paste this to all the cells here and now i would say sales volume growth rate and that is again that can be linked to the assumptions so here it is, is the sales volume growth rate now you have the growth rate for each year and i'm again copy pasting this to all the cells after making it absolute reference now let us talk about growth and the very important thing that we need to talk about again is the growth rate of 20% is not applicable for the first year and the reason is 20,000 is specifically given as the volume for year 1. So it will be growing yearly from there after. So I need to do is I would say equals this value 20,000 multiply by 100% plus this 20% rate that is the growth so it would give me you know my answer with growth and that is what i not want so i would say equals power and in that power i will say this value minus one so i will be deducting one in all of these cells so i will copy that and you can see that i have the same value of twenty thousand again and now i can copy and paste this to all the cells and you can see that our volume has grown by 20% specifically if you look at 2024 you can see from 2020 to 24,000 we have grown by 20% in the year 2024. Now that we have you know sales volume and sales price we are now ready to calculate the sales revenue and for that I would say sales revenue equals this value that is selling price multiplied by the sales volume and then you can see we have our answer of sales revenue and once you have that all you need to do is to go to profit and loss statement and link that and this is going to be schedules this one and you can see our, we have our answer and definitely we should be formatting it according to the numbers without any decimal if your answers are in millions you may like to pick it you know if you are showing the values in millions you may like to use one or two decimal but since in my case here i'm already using the full number i will not be using any decimal so simply copy that and paste it to all the cells and you have your sales revenue for all the different years so i hope that you have found this a little you know interesting there is a little extra effort in you know applying the qualitative aspects but once you have done that it, this is almost a guarantee that your financial model is not going to break down for any changes in data but if we are not following the qualitative guidelines things do change models break and we don't even know what went wrong so i hope that you are understanding the importance of these qualitative adjustments and the extra effort it takes to achieve them